In this ceremony, science and spirituality stand side by side, much as the two of you do. Astronomer and writer Carl Sagan said, science is not only compatible with spirituality, it is a profound source of spirituality. When we recognize our place in an immensity of light years and in the passage of the ages, when we grasp the intricacy, beauty, and subtlety of life, then that soaring feeling, that sense of elation and humility combined is surely spiritual. And one more salute to Tim! Hey. Hey. To be honest, if it weren't for Timothy, this party may not have happened at all. This is quite an event. Throughout four years of college, when we got to know each other better, he was always dating Liz. It's been a long time since then, and he was still dating Liz that entire time. But anytime during our four years of college, I will say that this man right here, every single day, every day, no matter what we were doing, he managed to find an hour, two hours, whatever it was, to go call Liz. You know, after that, I'm like, okay, you know, they might be long distance, but he is making this work. He is determined, committed to making this work. Elizabeth was very calm. She really, you know, it was her day, and she was just very happy. One of my favorite parts was the, all the girls together and just being ourselves. We were all there for her, and we had, we had so much fun. Elizabeth, my beautiful sister, is probably one of the hardest working people you will ever meet in your entire life. When Liz sets her sights, on a goal, it's full sprint ahead. And if you aren't there to support her, then you better get out of her way. When it comes to Liz, there's one key thing to know and that she's never in her life settled for anything. She's never settled to take the easy classes. She's never settled with a job that she was unhappy with and never settled when it came to taking care of her friends and family. So Tim, rest easy with the knowledge that my sister has most definitely never settled with you and never will. <laughs> And what I think is so special about Tim and Liz is that at the end of the day, they're two extremely smart individuals with amazing life goals. When people talk about love, you hear things such as they were made for each other, they complete each other, they need each other. And frankly, I don't think that describes these two at all. You know, they don't complete each other. They support each other and their individual goals, and they make compromises with each other through their lives. Neither Liz nor Tim need each other in the dependent sense. Every day for the past 13 years, you have both made the conscious decision to want each other. And that to me is far larger dedication to each other than most people will see in their lifetimes. Thank you, sir. Thanks, Tim. Thank you. Yep. Thank yeah. you, Thank you. Oh, that's awesome. I love this. Oh, we got some, uh, we got some fine scotch. Oh, oh. oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Dear Liz, I am so happy to be marrying you. I never imagined that I would have such an incredible woman as my partner. In short, you are my rock. You always support me and advocate for me, holding me up to be the best version of myself that I can be. God, almost, I have, I have a tissue, I'm, I'm afraid to touch you, like perfect.
love you. I love you. Oh my god, this is amazing. Yeah. I had my first scotch, so I'm that much happier. <laughs> Can you imagine that? They, they've been dating for 13 years, and I would say over half of that, they didn't even live in the same state. That's commitment right there. That is true commitment to each other. So this, this wonderful ceremony that we've had tonight, this was destined to happen from the very beginning because they were committed to it. It just took a while. But now that we're here, I can honestly say it was worth the wait. And I'm so happy for you guys. And y'all are honestly like inspiring in your commitment to each other, in your dedication to your goals, in your ambition. I love to see it. I hope to keep seeing it for the rest of the years. Dear Tim, your love and support over the last 13 years has pushed me to become the woman I am today. Your intelligence, passion, and kind heart make me fall in love with you all over again, every day. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Beautiful no. baby. Thank you. I don't think you I'm cry. supposed to kiss you. Oh, you're not supposed to kiss me? I don't think you so. You gave me a hug. Mm -hmm. I don't want to mess up your makeup. You're beautiful. Can you give me a kiss? Sure can. <laughs> Love it. You guys are fantastic. Perfect. Everybody talking to each other there. Looking up at the stars will help Tim and Liz navigate the course of their marriage. The ever-present stars will remind them with elation and humility of the possibilities and mysteries of the universe. To love is this shy silence, close to you, without you knowing, and remember your voice when you leave, and feel the warmth of your greeting. To love is to wait for you, as if you were part of the sunset, neither before nor after, so that we are alone between games and stories on dry land. To love is to perceive when you are absent, your perfume in the air that I breathe, and appreciate the star in which you walk away when I close the door at night. People naturally believe in the equal partnerships of successful duos. Rogers and Hammerstein, Lewis and Clark. Two scientists acting together usually accomplish more than two loners each going their own way. The best scientific pairings are marriages of convenience in that they bring together the complementary talents of those involved. An intelligent teammate can shorten your flirtation with a bad idea. Together, you have created a pure and fun universe of love, of commitment, joy, of learning, and of beauty. We are grateful to be part of that universe. 
awed by your generosity of spirit and thrilled to have watched you become the individuals and the couple that you are. May your journey together be blessed with generosity and forgiveness. May you enable each other to fulfill your dreams and may you be committed to the paths of courage and hope. Blessed is the source of generosity who created such good, remarkable people. I, Timothy Altmansberger. I, Timothy Altmansberger. Choose you, Elizabeth Robbins. Choose you, Elizabeth Robbins. In marriage. In marriage. You have enriched my life you have enriched my life in ways I could never have imagined. In ways that I could never have imagined. I promise. I promise. Before our families, friends, and God. Before our families, friends, and God. To be true to you. To be true to you. To have and to hold you. To have and to hold you. To love and to cherish you. To love and to cherish you. From this day forward. From this day forward. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. Elizabeth Robbins. I, Elizabeth Robbins. Take you, Timothy Altmansberger. Take you, Timothy Altmansberger. In marriage. In marriage. You have enriched my life. You have enriched my life. In ways I could never have imagined. In ways I could never have imagined. I promise before our families, friends, and God. I promise before our families, friends, and God. To be true to you. To be true to you. To have and to hold you. To have and to hold you. To love and to cherish you. To love and to cherish you. From this day forward. From this day forward. And all the days of my life. And all the days of my life. Tim, do you accept Liz's vows and choose to join her in creating this new and brilliant constellation of marriage? I do. Liz, please place the ring on Tim's finger. I would like to begin by telling you a story about the first time that the family met Tim. It was actually Elizabeth's high school graduation party. Liz and Tim had recently started dating and she was really excited for everyone in the family to meet him. So my now husband Andrew and some of his buddies were at Elizabeth's party and they decided they were gonna have some fun with Tim and they were gonna haze him a little bit. So throughout the party, they would ask him really weird questions and no matter what his answer, they would give him a score. Things like, hey Tim, what's your favorite kind of pizza? Hey Tim, boxers or briefs? No matter what his response was, the answer was always the same. Negative 50 points, negative 100 points. So at the end of the night, Liz decided to check on Tim, see how everything went, make sure he was okay. And his only reply was, I think they liked me. And guess what, Tim, you were right. We did like you. And in those 13 years since then, we have grown to love Tim. So we love him for the wonderful guy that he is. We love what he brings out in Liz. He has been her perfect balance. He has been keeping her grounded during times of stress. He keeps her laughing during difficult times. And he has absolutely been her biggest cheerleader. He has challenged her to be her best self. And he even got her to watch anime. That's a feat. My favorite part of the reception, I would say probably the dancing, that everybody was just on the dance floor having a good time. Everybody was there and it just moved so quickly that I could not believe that it was over by, in a flicking of an eye, everything was over. 
Tim and Liz, may you continue to see solutions to the world's problems, changing the world in big ways and small ways as individuals and as a couple. May you treasure each other with reverence for your past, delight in your present, and awe for your potential and future. question your dedication to each other so I want you to do is practice with me now before you go to bed at night I want you guys to hold each other's hands look each other in the eyes and understand that you may not wake up the next morning and if you don't know deep deep down that you are staring into the eyes of the very person who is statistically most likely to be the one who murdered you in your sleep. And guess what? You have chose to sleep next to them. So if that is not true love, then I don't know what is. 